Hey everyone, welcome back. Long War 2. The Voodoo Squad should have a smash and grab at some point. Uh, advent strength there, just gather supplies, yeah. I'm worried about how high that advent strength is, like, straight away it was three. Pretty high. Four days, too little. Six days is about the minimum I'll do. Seven days for a scientist and an intel package. What kind of a group can we get together for this? So, it's a concealed start, fixed evac. I think it's just rookies I can... Yeah, I don't have a squad for this, unfortunately. Sending a bunch of rookies is pretty suicidal, I think. Is how many days? Because I'm just wondering whether it's better to cancel the smash and grab because we have no idea how much uh, in the way of resources we'll actually get from the smash and grab <laughs> and he's going to give us a lead as well how big is the squad we've got here one two three four five six seven i think we, let's let's stay with the smash and grab and we, it means we're gonna have to pass up this extract VIP, unfortunately. God, that sucks. Race arounds, hazmat, nice. The alloys and crystals, but yeah, we don't have the resources for that. Sectoid autopsy would be pretty important as well. Let's get the trooper autopsy done. Knowing that my past surgical experience is limited, I am sure the crew appreciates that I hone my skills on fallen advent forces before triaging our own wounded. To the uninitiated, the common advent trooper is seemingly human. The aliens have disguised its most glaring divergence from the human form with a carefully designed helmet. Gruesome. The aliens have considerable resources. I think is if I'd taken this mission, I would have got the scientist that I'm hoping to use the supplies I'm hoping to get at the black market anyway. And this gives us a lead. But this was a nine day infiltration and that's a seven. So we're going to get the extra trooper on this one. I don't know. Well, there will be other opportunities, I'm sure. Be able to uh, get a scientist. Okay, so one assault, one grenadier, one gunner, one ranger. Technicals we're fine for. I might want to train some more technicals to get them in the field, but it feels like we're actually using grenadiers in the field, and then technicals just as haven advisors for the most part. One shinobi, two or two shinobis, one sharpshooter. Where's Jack Lawson? Didn't we? Oh, right, we made him a gunner. That's right. I think I need another assault at minimum, so I've got two. Denny, I think, is a good candidate for assault trooper. As is Ben Barton. Dax Teller, those are all too low hit points. I don't like that. Minus 10. Ugh, no. Okay, so I think we'll do... Hmm, minus 7 dodge. Okay, so Denny is a... Assault Trooper. You know, I need another Grenadier, so I need someone with decent mobility and not horrible accuracy. MLG. Okay, so Francie, Grenadier, Danny, Assault. Good, we did purchase wet work. Okay, good. Excellent. Go take out the spy. Setting course for the South African sector. I really shouldn't talk too soon, but since I've started putting technicals as my Haven advisors, these missions have not been 
that difficult in the early game. Towards the mid to late game, you start getting some pretty serious aliens on these missions. And your little ballistic weapon guys are not good enough. I seriously hope that in the Proving Ground there is a Give Resistance Warriors, you know, the next tier of weaponry upgrade. I mean, it must be. Because at a certain point these become too hard to do and you just can't have uh, advisors there. Everyone just dies. Okay, so the Advent Spy has been tracked to a meeting site with enemy forces. The short window to interrupt this meeting and eliminate both the Spy and their handlers we have no time for the Avenger to send regular XCOM forces. A small number of resistance personnel have volunteered to take up arms with the Haven's advisor to eliminate the threat. He advised, it may take even longer than usual for the Skyranger to arrive for an Do any of my Haven guys have special abilities? No. 62, 73 aim is nice, 67 is decent, 60 is not that good. Set up along this ridge line here and see what we can find. Understood. Moving out. Best case scenario is I let my, I get my technical into a position where the patrol can come near enough to him that he can open up with a flamethrower blast. Moving out. I'm gonna show you technically. I'm technically all over you it. normally face around seven troops at about this stage. Getting it done. So if you can open up on that first pod of move, three move, or four move. with a flamethrower blast and some Overwatch. You then just gotta mop up the following three. Typically not that hard. Okay. I need to get eyes on these guys. Let's do this. Just hang around here at on party advantage for a turn or two. See if we Got get an audio covered. cue. Stepping off. There's something out there. Okay, pretty much the, the direction I want them to be from. Okay, so sentry, sentry, officer coming towards us. I really hope I can get my technical behind that high cover there. And if I keep moving this way. Ah, oh, damn. Affirmative. Moving out. We did hear the other pod from over there, so above all else, I don't want to be fighting both pods at once. Go, go, go. Got a group of hostiles over here. Shit. Yeah, that's no good. We need to pull, pull back. Moving out. Overwatch. I'm on the move. Eyes on the prize. Orders confirmed. On the move. Can't get the flamethrower opener. We can hopefully at least get a grenade over Moving to designated coordinates. His little SMG is pretty terrible to shoot with anyway, so... Well covered. Please don't flank us. Please don't flank that guy out in the open. Shh. On the plus side, that's exceptionally good for us. I mean, it's not ideal how, to how we've gotten ourselves fighting both pods at once. But I'm in high cover. I can set all of them on fire. Got it covered. I can be reasonably confident that I can wipe out this pod in the initial engagement. Affirmative, moving out. I'm on it. Now I could do three to four damage with a rocket guaranteed, but fire is better. Burning persistent effect. Okay, lads, good luck. Fired up! The officer and sentry are burning, so. They found us! Not all the sentries got set on fire, which is annoying.
Oh shit, there's two faceless. Outstanding. Oh, you are getting rocketed. You know you guys are getting rocketed and your big stupid alien faces. Soften him up with a grenade. Tired of waiting around. Grenade out! I'm not phased about the gear. This is going to be really hard. If there's two facelesses coming at us. Shit. Okay, I'm going to have to flashbang those two. Clean up the trooper and the officer. Head down. Ooh. They're all over me. Yeah, I can't move. What's the scatter here? Four. 1.2 with a maximum of four. I want to make sure I at least hit these two. And then we just got to deal with the faceless. Bring in the pain. It does mean that this officer has to die. I need to remove that. Uh, again, marked. Well, Gabriel Ntamonde. Let's do this! Unlucky for you, my man. You are the bait. Great you shooting, mate. More? Great my shooting. My ammo's running low. Okay, 60 aim. 57 aim. On the move. Just flashbang and grenade these two as much as we can. Flashbang! Or we'll try to focus one down. Eight movement. So I don't think this one can reach him and attack. Let's go all in on this one. Seven aim? Awful. Have they got defense? Because look, aim 67, height advantage 10, but it's only 67. 20% graze. Oh, come on! Toss me some ammo! And they heal up, obviously. Good luck, Gabriel. Okay, you should be fine. Oh, <laughs> that's scary. Flame. Affirmative. Moving out. Also, I seem to remember that... I think it was a little while ago in Long War 1, I want to say. We're setting targets on fire stop block their regeneration, which sounds about right, doesn't it? Here I come! I've got your stuff here. I mean, if they're, on f if they're on fire, they shouldn't be able to regenerate. Grab and flamethrower! Moving to position. That's it, huh? Superior hacking, that's incredible. Asset secure. And a stock, okay. That is superior hacking is going to be amazing. We don't have any sort of harder targeting, do we? This is going to be really hard. Ah! Not even close. Running dry. I mean, don't worry. It, it's just an eight foot tall amorphous blob. Why the f options is not right here? Gray's band shouldn't be ten. Should be five. Have the settings reset themselves? No. Mm. 
at 80, it should be 83, but it's only, oh, so they've got some inbuilt defense. No, they don't. Uh, I'm confused. Anyway. Um, I want a flashbang. Or oh, I can grenade, but then this one's not going to be flashbang. So then Gabriel is pretty much Let's move done already. for. He's very dead. Because now the second faceless is not going to be disoriented. Seventy four aim and it regens to the flames. Got a cap over here! I'm not! Not! What? No! No! What's happening? No, this isn't right! This isn't right! <laughs> yes, the start of the squad wipe, so we just lost. <laughs> but for this turn at least, 86 to do 3 to 5, or 100% to do 3 to 4. Now, if these miss, this thing's just gonna keep attacking and kill everyone. I'm out of firepower over here. Okay, I've got a grenade, thank goodness. On your order. Throw a grenade. Double faceless on our very first anti spy mission. That is intense. Yeah, this could scatter by 2,000 and kill us, though. Is the shot the better chance then? I think the shot's the better chance then, because of the scatter. I mean, if it scatters, it could, like, do that and kill us. Hostiles pacified. Rip, Gabriel and Tamonde. Brave, brave boy. I mean, if he had just rolled a three instead of a two for damage on that last shot that he took, I wouldn't have had to grenade those two. I could have flashbanged the other one again. <clears throat> yeah, at least our at least our technical survived, so uh, it's pretty important. I think it's got to be fire in the hole. It applies to the other rockets we have as well. I'm going to be going pretty much straight down the Rocketeer build. Except for Concussion Rocket. Concussion Rocket is such an interesting rocket because it's basically a huge flashbang that does a bit of damage to the enemies, but the problem is it leaves a cloud of smoke. But then all those enemies you hit with a Concussion Rocket, you can't hit them with direct fire. Because you've put them in smoke. That's kind of silly. I'd rather take Shredder at Sergeant rank. Two stocks and a plus 16 hacking, that is amazing. Now my specialists. I'll give it to Sergeant Osiris if he survives this next mission. Now because we lost one of our resistance guys, does it mean we're going to have one less now in the Haven? Yeah, we are, only one guy died, but there's three less in there? Oh, come on, man. Fuck you, game. God damn it. Fuck, this game's annoying sometimes. Ugh. Annoying. They got us all our money. It's, fuck, that's frustrating. 
Uh, come on, that is straight up bullshit. We had six people in there. And I've only got three, even though only one died on the mission. Kiss my ass, man. God damn it. I'll spin here have I got better recruitment chance. No. Setting course for West Africa. That's completely gimped our South Africa operations. Something else occurs to me. We really should be able to... Uh, hang on one second. 41 supplies, 11 alloys, 50... Like, you should be able to move uh, resistance personnel around between the various havens. That only makes sense, don't you think? We've got a recruit in West Africa. Put him on supply, I suppose. I mean, we are so fucking broke, it's insane. Maybe I can put everybody in South Africa onto Intel and hope we can get a uh, free resistance personnel mission. Bonus aim, awesome. Man, I'm irritated by that. The, the, the loss of... Oh, I suppose that, that's true. It's because two of those guys in the in the Haven were faceless. So that's why. Of course. Uh, so the one guy died, and then we killed the two who were faceless. Which would be right. Yeah, it would leave three. Well, we've got three, three people on recruitment there. And a Haven advisor. So hopefully, you know, we'll get more guys recruited soon. Who, ironically, will probably be, probably be faceless. I think there's like a 50% chance that they're faceless. Fucking <laughs> frustrating. Was it 20%? It's a 20% chance, I think. If I get just alloys and delirium now, I'm going to be annoyed. I need supplies. A nice big hit of 150 supplies is what we need. We'll buy us a uh, scientist. If we get it, if we can afford a scientist, we'll go to South Africa, put all three of those guys on Intel, plus the scientist, and hope we can get a doable mission that gets us more personnel. And West Africa will go straight over onto supply. Smash and grab, we know the score by now. Revealed start. Okay, good. So five packages this time. As opposed to four last time, so that should be more money than last time. Stun Lancer, Trooper, Stun Lancer. Oof, double Stun Lancer. 80 aim on the snake. Oh, God. Trooper, Sentry, Viper. <coughs> Having troops spotted. Trooper, double Sentry. And they're the closest. We'll try catch these nerds in, in Overwatch. To run my sniper up to high ground immediately. I feel like up here is his best bet. That will be I'll throw a lot of cover, so I don't see that helping much. Location confirmed. So where's the high cover and where are all these nerds sitting? Am I better off? I think I might be better off pulling back for a turn or two and getting these guys into Overwatch. Uh, we'll take the half cover and we'll smoke. Seems 
go get eyes on for us. Look at us. Hit list. Yeah, these guys are going to move through here. This is all half cover. On your order. On Overwatch. As always, I hate being in half cover, but going to have to for now, I'm afraid. That's fairly safe for Captain Wardy. Got it. Unless okay. that door stays closed. I believe they fixed the bug where you can be you can be seen and you can see through doors. Good. He's fairly safe there, I think. Fire shots. Can I smoke that much? Smoke up! Okay, I'll go. Keen to see what Jack Lawson can do on this uh, cannon. I need to get him a hair trigger though for Overwatch shots. Got it covered. And then we'll press forward and take these high cover positions in the next turn. I want the bulk of my forces on this side of the map, so that I want the enemies to engage me on this side, so that my sharpshooter will hopefully have flank the shots. Still up. Come on, boys. Get it together. Twelve percent. Thank you, Smoke. Incoming fire. That seems like a fairly obvious grenade. Now can my assault trooper, damn he can't get cover there really. That puts him in half cover and I can probably aid protocol him. Well dude. Seven solid points Nailed of damage, him. very nice. going to reveal me but doesn't matter just get out of the way how far can I move Natürlich. I might have to slash one of these two Kanata Oni keep moving forward whenever you can boys I doubt this is going to take out this wall stick around mm, shit yeah Sapper not being strong enough there Okay, maybe it was. I see that little bit of cover there, and that's still there. That's ich habe das gefunden. Ich habe das Zeug. Okay, walk fire is probably my best bet here. Yeah. Unless I get lucky with the first shot. Ah, I should have had a target it. It's still moving. I'm gonna use a regular holo target because I want to. I don't think I need to shoot after this. You know what? I might need to. Be safe. What's that? Because if if Buster oh, and I can hit this shot, then the other lads can move up. 54. I do only need walk fire though. 58. X ray neutralized. I can handle that. Okay, six more active. But there's a bunch of snakes and a bunch of other scary shit there as well. Already there. Really hope they don't get into range of my sharpshooter. That would suck. Oh, yeah, I like 
Commander. Come on, please get vision on something. Nope. Clint Marpa. Overwatch now, boys. Wow, look how spread out the areas. Ten turns. Not great. Stand by. Oh yeah. I need an auto loader there. I'm on it. Wonder if I shouldn't move my sharpshooter. Solid copy. Morty, overwatching with your shotgun is useless, so don't bother. Copy that. This doesn't leave me much overwatch, but I think it's more important to move. I'm trusting you here. As much as we can. That 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 bit of time we have is going to run out super quickly. It's, uh, it's not impossible that the enemy could run up that ladder. Ruin Al Pacino's day, and his view isn't that great. Uh, let's be safe and relocate him. No need to ask twice. That's not what I meant to click. It sounds like the snakes are approaching from that flank. We did hear a bunch of Overwatch, but that is what the lightning reflexes are for. Now, uh, assault trooper. Affirmative. I don't see us being able to get much use out of that. Still miles away. You fall behind and you're on your own. Oh, unlucky. Can't for sure. I'm probably just gonna Double hunker these bus. two down. If I can't smoke them, I'm gonna hunker them down. 51%. It's worth a shot if I can hunker. In our flashbang. Only just. It seems like a waste for one officer. Who will most likely take this position, which can then be shotgunned. Go, go, go! No problem, boss. Oh. Map alert is fine. What's reflexes? I'll take a look. Uh, soldier dodge. Let's go for the large case of supplies. We know. This is another bonus of playing all pods active. Is this this feedback effect is essentially nothing. Oh, baby! That should be... I think that's 40 supplies. We're in! Great hacking, Lincoln. Oh, man, I really don't like the half cover. We are really far back, so we should be grand. Running! Nine turns and still six of them active. Not good. If you see so. Affirmative. Covering now. I think the hunker is the way to go here yeah, because we don't have smoke. Aye, aye. In they come. Okay, stun launcer. Head down, Governor. Woo! 70%. Let's hope that officer groups up here. near these two, which he does not. Okay. Ooh, please tell me my sharpshooter might have an angle on that Viper. Taking fire this over is here. five. Okay, there's the sixth person. Yeah, the stun lances are obviously f***ing terrifying. How do I get the most out of my grenade here? 
hand out of my shotgun. Like, that seems like a good bet. Then that stun lancer is gonna have to be uh, flash banged. That being said, if he knocks one of these guys unconscious, he may well do. We, I think we've got recovery. I get the most use out of this grenade. I think we have a chance that we can destroy that bit of cover and then kill that Lancer with direct fire. Which gives Wardy, like, that option there is not bad. That's, that's a bit far, I don't like that. Maybe go there and shock Viper. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go for that. I think that's probably my best bet. Going in for the kill. I don't see myself being Ready. able to kill that officer this turn. Taking fire over here. So my shinobi is most likely going to be. Taking fire over here. He's, he's most likely going to stay marked. That's six plus two is eight, so I can't kill it outright. My best bet is to stun it. 65 is not even great, though. We've got to try. Oh, that's big. I'm gonna, can you AOE suppress anybody? Probably not. Yeah, I don't have a plan for that stun lancer, and this officer is still alive. I think that is what I have to do. And then we will have to 8 protocol Hitless Martins. Because he's going to get zapped by that guy. Have you seen the thing? I have this thing. From there, I can suppress only that trooper who is actually quite a threat there, Captain Wardy. He's most likely going to take that position for the flank. <sighs> that officer, I've got nothing for the officer. The thing is, I don't want to put my, sh my sniper into. Uh, the visual range of these guys. I'm gonna have to though. Moving to position. He's got to hunker down. He can't be in half cover. Maintain position. About hunkering. It hurts me having to having to hunker hurts me. I think it's Lincoln Osiris, A Protocol, Tony Martins, and then Overwatch. Maybe my Ranger can get that flank on that stun lancer by taking that high cover. position too far away not surprising 32 walk I think I'm gonna overwatch because that stun lancer is almost guaranteed to run into it so can you see the officer from there no if I go here then that officer will go there and get a flank on me so that's no good Be okay. Ooh. Roger that. Suppressing hostile. Just hoping that stun lancer runs Overwatch first and gets taken out. No. Missed. Woo. He missed his shot. Fire over 
Good. Taking fire up the air. Okay, now our Shinobi will take care of that stun lancer. With double slash. Remember, Flesh Eye ends your turn. Slash doesn't if you use that as your first action. And we're gonna have to start advancing into some half cover here now. Oh shit, that sentry was on Overwatch at the back there. Not good. He's got Sapper, but it's super unlikely he breaks that wall. I think that's probably a bit of bet. Like, you see, that, that concrete wall there is a solid wall. I have a chance of destroying that, though. Good luggage. Hostile target down. Job. Covered. Come on, you to do nothing. He can't. He can't see shit. Be the time to grab a flank. Or I could holler target if I get that. I think I want to holler target. Whatever you say. Now that's four to six damage on eighty accuracy, three to five. Yep, this is the threat. Damn, I'm gonna have to run and gun, but I can't. Have we got aid protocol? We don't. It. Copy that. Well, oh, Captain Wally, good luck. This is super, super risky. We'll make big crit, 64%. Well, even if you roll a max plus two, it won't kill it, but. Nice, eight damage. Affirmative. Covering now. The least I can do is keep this officer suppressed. Ready and he's to engage. Now, so. Suppressing target. For a second, I thought Opportuna might have a pistol, and maybe he could take a pistol shot at that Overwatch, uh, at that Advent officer. But no. On your order. I'm hoping the Viper just constricts my Assault Trooper, because that's the least damage it'll do. They're repositioning on us. Fuck. Taking fire over here. Oh. You motherfuckers. Well, bleeding out, not dead. And that piece of shit is still overwatching in the back. Okay, who's gonna run this overwatch? Uh, let's see who's nice and beefy? The governor. The fucking snake piece of shit. Now, I don't want Hitler to run that overwatch though. I mean, he, I could slash that sentry, but I don't want to run that overwatch. Fucking flashbang them both, maybe. Or, I mean, this could get lucky and. and Hit him through high cover. Point up, but you know. Nice. Okay, 
Okay, Jawara, can you get a flanky shot on that Viper? You can. On the move! I'm gonna walk fire just to make sure. Target neutralized! Snake bastard. What's over there? Come get some! The intention is to flesh out the sentry, but I think I should probably do the, the, the officer. I'm not going to get eyes on the sentry, am I? Seems doable. Although Lincoln Osiris has got... He should actually move up and be able to stabilize in the next turn. Can I grenade that sentry by any chance? Nope. Ah, uh, doesn't kill the officer. Hopefully I can finish him with a grenade though. I had it there for a sec. Damn, uh, uh, uh. not without hitting my own guy. I'm gonna have to trust in the overwatch. Very clumsy. Not at all the way I wanted this to go. On the plus side though, I can revive my assault trooper if I'm able to get him up quick enough. Surely that must have triggered Overwatch. Come on. Oh, fuck his head down. I'm alright! Forty-nine, worth a try. Negative damage. Do you see that officer? Fuck that guy. Ruin his day. If you can get an angle. Only five turns left. It's going to be super close. So this asshole has 51 accuracy. Feels reasonably safe to run that Overwatch. Oh wait, what's your defense against hit list? Six defense. It's a 20 odd percent chance to hit. Unless I reload and try walk fire. Target eliminated. Yeah, I need medical attention over there now. I'm all over it. Grab those resources, boys. Elite expanded mag, awesome. Well, I've got the thing. Which one's the furthest away? I think that one's the furthest away. On the upgates. Time. Yeah, it's going to be super close. I think there's going to be reinforcements dropping on our heads. Affirmative. You're good. Just stay with me. Uh, hopefully it doesn't end the turn. But it doesn't. Revival protocol for the win. The stats seem pretty high considering he's that injured. Is red fog working? What is going on? Yeah, red fog for all. Okay. Fine. Aye, aye. Natürlich.
Wo soll ich es hinbringen? Schon unterwegs. That was good work, man. We were pretty much at number two to one there. Solid copy. Get your ass to Mars. Will do. Affirmative. Stepping off. This is uncomfortably close. These reinforcements. I wonder if I should go straight if I should go straight for the evac. Oh yeah, I should it's fucking far away. Moving out. Okay, so Frozen Owl's gonna grab that one, so everybody just move your asses. Location confirmed. Makes me wish that I had uh, Oscar Mike. Nice night for a walk. For the extra mobility. Okay, been on Tavix. We should be fine. That's once it reaches zero that the first reinforcements come down. So I think it's three full turns after this. Roger that. Who's gonna okay, so you grab that one for as an owl. Heading out. I think that's all five. I have the asset. Get out there, can I? Moving to position. Kein problem, boss. Beat the fire shots. I really hope that Wardy doesn't have a re Got reduced it. will for his next mission. He probably will. Aye, aye, Commander. But like normally when you have these guys with reduced will, it's fine, you, you just build a mine shield, but getting another sectoid corpse is damn near impossible. That's the biggest difficulty I find with World War II, is getting corpses for salvage. There's so few missions that give them to you, and they are so hard. It becomes so frustrating where you just desperately want to upgrade your, your grenades to plasma grenades, but you can't, because you can't get your hands on another muton corpse. Copy that. If you see so. That's everyone. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now there's seven of us. I'm on it. Me and get nichts. No need to ask twice. Multiple hostiles advancing in our position. Ready to engage. I can handle that. As usual, we'll form one turn and then we'll go. Scanning. Affirmative. Affirmative. Hopefully they drop right I on top of us and the then pill. our shotgun will actually be useful. No problem. I guess that will be okay. Let's click. On Overwatch. Clint Machbar. No, blue move there on the next turn, probably. Yeah. On the move. Overwatch. My position's been compromised. on an advent position. Cover my flank! I got a piece. Miss the target! Relate in a flash on there. These, these grazers do my fucking head in, I swear. Looks like they called in backup. That seems to happen so often. On the move. <coughs> Excuse me. Are we out of explosives? 
Yes, we are. Great shooting, Oni. You're a badass. Heading out. Get him, boys. I'm out of here. Nope. Not even close. Ready to boogie. Who's next? Wardy. Oh, good shot. For a guy who just recovered from being shot damn near to death, well done. Worryingly, I think he's pretty much our only assault trooper. Who is now going to be unavailable for a good month. I definitely got that one. Could you survive well done, more people. Here? Just in time. Well done, tough mission. The fact that no one died was a hell of a good result. MVP, uh, I think Wardy. He nailed that clutch stun on the snake, which helps limit its damage. It was still super da dangerous, as you saw. And then he managed to bleed out to not die. And got revived. And nailed the shot at the end. Well done, mate. Honorable mention to Tony Hitless Martins as well. Taking names and kicking ass. Slashing away like a badass with his big machete. Let's hope they all go that smooth, Commander. Great work. 28 days. It's got to be heavy ordnance. Extra grenade. Uh, actually, close and personal. I, mean, I used to take trench gun, but I find that I don't get to use it that often. I mean, his stun shots, are, uh, skills are very useful. He can also damage mechanical enemies, but no, I want him to be all about uh, run and gun. We're going to take lightning reflexes, close and personal. Killer Instinct for extra damage when you crit, extra conditioning so we can use it more often. And then Rapid Fire. So the thing is, when you, let's say you're running gun right next to an enemy, you've got 40 crit chance just base from the shotgun. An elite laser sight will give you another 30. Plus another 30 from close and personal, that's 100% crit. And then Killer Instincts so does an extra 50% off crit damage. And you get to shoot twice with Rapid Fire, so you'll be able to do two huge crits. And then you give him uh, talon rounds for the extra crit damage. And you have yourself a badass. The center mass obviously is super useful for taking down mechs and heavy or anything that's big. Combat is pretty damn tempting. It, it, it essentially makes you immune to zombies punching you. Chrysalids, anything melee contact wise makes you pretty much immune to it though. Hmm, I don't know. Let's try combat I normally do center mass. We can always retrain him. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay, so it's, I thought we were only going to get 33. The 75 is from the hack. Okay, it's given us 11 alloys in an area core, so that's 105 supplies. Commander, as we rapidly develop and deploy advanced new technology, the 127 supplies any recruits we might you be encounter able to with a towards the sciences would be of great use to me. Avenger plotting new course. Market is open. The other thing I could do is I could build the advanced warfare center. Another engineer for 112. I think I want the scientist. 
134. We need seven. We sell no drone wrecks. Our corpses are far too rare. Galerium cores could actually be a decent. Uh, actually, facelesses will get plenty of them. And I don't. I'm not going to use the faceless anyway. So. Okay, so the fact that I got that scientist means we can put these three onto intel, chuck the scientist there, and then have West Africa go fully over onto supplies. It's not going to make it easy for us. We're not going to have great uh, scanning times or infiltration times. Ugh, yeah, I need supplies. And we'll swap our advisors around, because now... Okay, so two on recruit, eight on supply. It's an extra 137 by the end of the month, and then that should be a good 200 on if we keep them on that. And nine on supply, two on recruit. If we keep them doing that the entire month, that should be fairly good. Where's Jeff Portnoy? Back him there as the Haven Advisor. If I were to throw an engineering there, it would increase the total supplies by an extra 20%. Setting course for South Africa. It'll take about a week at least of intelligence gathering before we get decent uh, infiltration times. Five days for intel, nope. Plus five mobility. I thought Oscar Mark used to be plus three. Anyway, that, that is wonderful. As you can probably see, I like to have my specialists be my officers. It has been a temptation that if I don't have any, any specialists to train, I could chuck the technicals in there because the technicals are going to be haven advisors. So having your haven advisors be able to uh, help those haven those resistance warriors when you do those fights would be quite useful. Four hours. <laughs> no. 22 hours. Uh, if that doesn't improve, we're going to have to switch this up again and go back to Intel in West Africa. Commander, with the Advent officer currently in cold storage, we should perform the autopsy as soon as possible. Though I was never witness to one myself, countless observers attest to the existence of a much smaller, less intimidating variant of the sectoid that took part in the original invasion. In the time since, this new being, the product of clear genetic manipulation, is now a familiar face to our forces operating in the field. And we I was hate not them. going to admit it to Shen. One day, okay, it's getting better, but not much. Fuck. I think there was a recruit to West Africa there. That is going to get retaliated on at some point. We've got 12. We just need one more. Then we're at max. Priority message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. You have made considerable progress Vigilance, against the sucks. aliens over the past Easier month, for them to Commander. Us. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. I might have to sell some other things. But I could probably get my second engineer now. Okay, I need to get some more rookies training in there. 
What are we missing? We've got two assaults, two grenadiers. I want two of each at least, so we need rangers and gunners. We need rangers, gunners, and sharpshooters, which are all the most demanding aim-wise. So 72 minus 10. That'll be a sharpshooter with that minus 10. 70 mm, minus 5. And 68, 3, 15. Which one do we make the sharpshooter is the big question. I think the one who is... Minus five, dead eye, yep. So dead eye Viscri. Viscre. Vis I don't know. Donkey Rod Ward has got the extra hit points which I like. He's a bit more accurate, but the minus ten fucking sucks. It basically means he only gets thirty percent damage to, or to hit reduction from high cover. Okay, so Ward as Ranger. I'm going to have to give him a PCS that increases his, his uh, defense. Only wires, we still broke. Lightning strike would be nice. That's too expensive. I, I'm just, I'm desperate for engineers and scientists. We, we're in month three and I've got one and one. Side. If I can keep course. this supply gathering going for the whole month, we can damn near buy another Market scientist and engineer. 155, so I need 42. Delirium core. Hmm. I only need one stock. We need 55. Corpses. Ah, I hate doing that. Okay, we should be pretty much good for engineers now. For the time being at least. I can put these two in here. Uh, I, might, I think I'm actually going to want to build a workshop here next. Well, after the AWC, we'll go DTS, AWC, workshop, power, we'll use the workshop to uh, excavate these machinery, machinery, and debris quicker. I might even leave it there because then I can put resistance Advance comms and power there. officers might be more resourceful than your average trooper, but I doubt our forces will have any trouble bringing in a test subject for Tigan to look at, especially since he's not asking for a live one. There's not a whole lot that surprises me these days. Setting course we'll give for another week or two of scanning, but South it doesn't Africa. look like the times are going to be good enough here. We have to switch this up. Yeah, this is no good. Oh, one more. Nah, uh, we, we can't get enough. Seven days. Intel. Yeah, good. Let's do it. The 27 Intel is perfect. It gets us a little bit closer to the 100 we need to make contact with East Africa. And I can maybe squeeze another trooper in here. Unlikely though. Uh, no. I might as well send these lads. Is this the best of the best? On mission, on mission ranger. Yep. Ooh, I want to have Jack Lawson though. He's really good. I definitely want the sharpshooter, that's for sure. The ranger, absolutely. But PCSs, we got PCSs, didn't we? Depth perception, perfect for a sniper. Extra hacking for Lincoln Osiris. That's a nice hack value now. Stock. I would want that stock on my technical or on another uh, sharpshooter. Six days, 21. We've got a full day to play with. Uh, we're out of PCSs. Okay. 
boom, boom, boom. Uh, heal up, smoke. Heal up, shoot. Go with, okay, the nano scale vest is nice to have. Shinobi, I think I want my Shinobi to have the extra hit points. No, wait a second, someone had three hit points there. My specialist, I can't have three hit points, that's far too little. So seven, that's good as well. Actually, uh, I'm not using a shotgun right now, so if I strip that laser sight... Governor, I wished he had, he had a shotgun with him last time. I'll give him a shotgun. If anything flies in close, like those little drones or whatever, he'll be good for shotgunning it. What's your aim? Lincoln Osiris, nice. I can't wait to put this hacking into effect. If we can start capturing those little surveillance drones, that'll be so good. But I don't want a second specialist, that's for sure. Don't need a second specialist. I can bring my gunner along. Or my shinobi. Already got a shinobi, sweet. Welcome, Jack. Hit points is plenty. Med kit to make him immune to poison. Uh, let's see, five, five, five. Okay, my Shinobi will get that then. The only glaring weakness we have here is that we don't have a flashbang uh, to break mind control, so I'm gonna have to do that. This looks good. Operation Stupendous Daughter. <laughs> Just some straight intel, but it's a sabotage a monument, which is one of the easier missions as well. We're gonna get some nice levels going here. Bust a nut, frozen owl, sergeant, governor, eject, and hit list. Also, with combatives, I can be a bit more aggressive with my positioning on Jekt. If any stun lances run at him, he should be able to, to, to parry them. And plus 10, and plus 10 dodge. It's really, really good too. Governor, looking forward to this mission. Sky Ranger deployed. The seventeen plus twenty-seven is thirty is forty-four. We're gonna need quite a few more missions. Four days, not enough. Around about six days is the minimum. That lets us send five troopers along. Okay, so no soldiers that can officer train, but I think Jeff Portnoy is the Haven advisor in West Africa. What other soldiers are available? Can I maybe field another squad? Technical, Specialist, Shinobi, Grenadier Assault, one, two, three, four, five. We can. Sweet. Come on, give me a rescue resistance operatives mission, please. Psionics is a temptation, rushing psionics. Working within the tight constraints of the Avenger, I've had a difficult time finding room to conduct some of our more theoretical experiments. Perhaps the next time we set down... This could be quite useful. But AP rounds are too good. Tell me something, Doctor. Must have been like most people, I wanted to believe in that almost the any given squad. At a minimum, I want AP rounds on my gunner, my ranger, and my shotgun. Although they left me little choice when it came to working with them, I admit I was drawn to the sense of normalcy they offered. 
It was a mistake. Fifty supplies. Eleven. It was a mistake. Extra supplies. One I hope to atone for through my efforts with XCOM. Then I'd say you've got your work cut out for you. I did this one because I think that'll be the quickest. It'll be far quicker than going for the machinery. Okay. Our next priority, money-wise, is an extra hundred supplies, so we can get an AWC in there. Hopefully we can get through this month without a retaliation. I doubt it, though. I think there will be retaliation. In fact, almost certainly. That's why I'm going to put Davies there. Hang on, Davies. You're not in the uniform. Get him into uniform. Five, fourteen, five. Props, helmet, hat. I actually quite like Delta for my technical. Uh, face prop. Let's go with old enemy within. What were they called again? Those bastards, the humans you had to fight. I forget. Loads and loads and loads of rocket. Yeah, three is probably enough. He's got two from that and then plus the one from the gauntlet. Good man. Tax sense. Bonus to defense. Fuck. Six days. That's doable. And exactly what I needed. One, two, three resistance personnel. Four resistance personnel. How many? Five. Oh, baby. One, two, three, four. Okay, we have to make this one work. So we've got specialist, shinobi, technical, and a dear. Belt. And that's probably it. Five man squad. Uh, any PCSs? No. Only one weapon upgrade. Doc. Uh, who do I want? Oh, geez, this is not going to be easy. No, be technical. Okay, I'll tell you what. Just bring loads and loads and loads of rockets, Portnoy. You're gonna be just be blowing shit up. The tin mobility is probably fine. I can't have the lack of damage with another SMG there. Specialist. Okay, you can take the stock. And if we're able to engage on enemies in Overwatch, you can steady weapon and then open up with a shot. Uh, assault rifle on the Grenadier. I'm going to go for maximum grenades. Who's going to get that armor-piercing rounds, though? Probably my assault trooper. Please tell me there's more weapon upgrades. Shit. Okay, Foxy Sugar Stalker is almost in uniform already. Well, I can tell you guys one thing. This is going to be probably the hardest mission we've done so far. I do feel like it is worth doing, though. It's worth the risk. Because if we can pull this off, that's going to help get uh, South Africa back into good shape. This is four resistance personnel. It'll get us up to seven. Get you in uniform, Portnoy. I know you all have these crazy ideas about what you want to look like. We are professional military force. We all wear uniforms. Technicals, I said I like to give them Delta. And then lower face prop. 
What was I fucking called again, those dickhead humans at Water Striped? Ugh, you guys must be screaming at me in chat. Or in the comment section, I mean. Exalt. Exalt. Bastards. I hated exalts. They were so irritating to deal with. Looking good, Francie. Uh, let's see. Uh, Helmet. As a grenadier, I think I give my grenadiers Kevlar 2. Kevlar Belaclava. the bandanas they look cool last but not least Denny Danielle Lorindu guessing she's a Quebeci uh, with the Frenchness from Quebec uh, let's see armor pattern oh no she's straight up French okay never mind Paint, Herod, helmet, hat. As an assault trooper, what? Yeah, I think. I, what did I go for again? Assaults are using Kevlar three, I think. Unlike the exposed arms, though. That's ruined everything. Classic. Also, it's two, that's fine. Legs, two, arms, two. Helmet hats, Kevlar three, I think it was. Okay, Operation Sweetened War Leader. This needs to go well. What worries me though is the lack of sharpshooter, the lack of gunner, <laughs> the lack of ranger. Also, my assault trooper doesn't have any way of breaking, uh, of breaking fucking, um, breaking Overwatch. You know what, because we've got a technical, we've got plenty of explosives. Why don't we go full support, Grenadier? 70 aim, I think so. Double flashbang and a smoke. I mean, she doesn't have Sapper anyway, so it's kind of pointless using flash. Okay, let's do that then. Yeah, w without Sapper, she's not going to destroy any sort of cover. Cool. Operation Swarten Sweetened War Leader. Keeler, Makot, Fatty, MLG, and Danny. Good luck. Ranger deployed. And then Voodoo has how many hours left? 21 hours left. Good. I'm so pleased we managed to get a jailbreak mission. That's exactly what we needed. I have a funny feeling though, it's our third month, there's like a 100% chance we're going to have to deal with a, a, a retaliation. Heaven forbid it procs before Voodoo to finish up with that mission. I can just get through this month with all that all that income, all those supplies. It'll be wonderful. Okay, friends, thanks for watching. I'm Stubber for 9 This is Long War 2. We've got two of our squads out in the field. I'm feeling a sense of restrained optimism. I feel like we've done fairly well. I don't like the fact that we're only sitting on one engineer, uh, one scientist and two engineers by month three and still no advanced warfare center. Luckily, we've been able to avoid a lot of wounds, so the lack of the AWC hasn't mattered too much in that respect. But the next big hit of money is going to be for a scientist and the AWC. And then in the next month, I have to push through to laser weapons. By the fourth or fifth month, if we're still using ballistic weapons, we're going to struggle. I've got a fair amount of alloys, though. Okay, thanks for watching, friends. See you next time.